Hi, this is Mike for uh, the fantasy football version of Draft Buddy, and I'm here to show uh, what happens if you run into trouble uh, changing the owner or team names in Draft Buddy and getting errors in terms of the players not matching up with the teams um, throughout Draft Buddy. Uh, this is just a little bit tricky, so I thought I'd make it easier uh, in trying to fix it with a uh, video demonstration. What we've got here is uh, I've got Draft Buddy open. I've got a draft underway, which we can see from the uh, draft report tab. Uh, I put the team names in. Uh, well, actually, owner names. I just put uh, the owner names here for this draft. And as you can see on the draft report tab, uh, these are formulas, okay, right here. Uh, you can tell from the formula bar up here. Okay, it's grabbing the names you know, for each of the teams from the owners tab where you filled in the owner and team names. Okay? The as long as those formulas are in there, everything should be fine. You know, you can change the name from I can change the name from of from FF Today to, you know, Mike McGregor. So that should update fine over on the draft report tab and it did. Okay. What but problems can happen if these formulas get erased, and there's a couple ways that happens, and there are good reasons for that. But if the name, if the formulas are gone, then, and then you later try to change the names on the owners tab, then we can run into problems. And there, there's ways to fix that. Okay, let me give some examples of how these formulas go away. Uh, one would be if you need to run your cheat sheets again. Okay, but you want to save those draft picks. Okay, as you know over here on the action tab, if you have reset draft order and picks set to yes, and hit compile cheat sheets, it's going to wipe out all those draft picks. Okay, so you may not want that. But if I set it to no, okay, and then hit compile, okay, yeah, it gives me a little information box here, uh, warning me about some of these things. Uh, if I hit compile now, it should save the draft picks, save the teams. Those formulas won't be there anymore. Okay, and this is the only, the reason the formulas go away because it's the only way to guarantee that those picks get saved properly. Okay, draft report tab. Now we still see all the picks are back here, which is great. But these are not formulas anymore. These are um, these are now names. If I go and change Mike McGregor back to FF today. Then it still shows Mike McGregor over here because there's no formula, okay? And you know we're going to have a, an issue kind of matching up the uh, the picks that are on here to the F of today slot on the roster tab, for example. Okay, so there's nothing shown there. Okay, it's only going to match up if the names match up perfectly. You know, if I go back and change this to Mike McGregor. And my draft report tab highlights that yep, that's my team again. Uh, rosters tab, change the name up here. It matches up perfectly with the picks that are already on the draft report tab. So we're fine, okay? But you can see this is one instance where those formulas would change. Uh, another instance where I believe they change is if you switch from owner to team for the display or team to owner, you know, back and forth. Uh, another way they change is if you have a custom draft order, okay. Uh, if we have a custom draft order, then the formulas don't do us any good at all because they're only useful for a serpentine or straight draft. Then, yeah, there's not going to be anything here, okay, uh, in terms of formulas. You're just going to have the names, but then if you get if you want to change them later, that's going to be that's going to be an issue, okay. So one way to uh, correct this. Would be, you know, it kind of depends on your situation. If you let's go back to Serpentine, okay, because that's what I had originally. Okay, again, still, I'm not going to have these you know, formulas aren't here. But let's see if I can make this work. Okay, let's change the name. Let's change me back to FF Today. All right, we know that this doesn't match up now over here. Okay. And it's not even highlighting that that's my team anymore, okay? Because it's got on the draft report tab, it's got Mike McGregor all the way down where FF Today should be. Okay, one way that we're going to fix this is we have it on. We're going to change from uh, Serpentine to Straight. Okay, 
you put FF to the AN. Now, of course, we don't have a straight draft, do we? We have serpentine draft, which would be most redraft leagues, and we're going to switch it back to serpentine. And there, we just fixed it, okay? Now it put in the proper team name, you know, from our owners tab, all right? Now that, uh, so that was one and probably the best way to fix it if you get into a situation where you're like, hey, these owner names are not matching up or team names are not matching up because I went and changed them, um, then there's there's a really good way to, to fix it. Uh, another way to to fix it is if you don't already have the draft picks in here, all right, and sometimes that'll happen if you, know, you you've changed the setting, uh, run compile or, or change the dis you know one of these options up here these formulas are gone you don't have any draft picks in yet uh, well then just run compile cheat sheets again okay you can do that now it's going to wipe out the draft picks um, in my case but you know let's say for example you didn't have the draft picks in or you didn't have very many in okay uh, if you had keepers in you would definitely want to set this to no all right reset keepers to no but if you didn't care about the draft picks, then uh, or you didn't have very many in, and you had a problem on this on your draft report tab, you know, best way to get back get it back, change reset draft order and picks to yes, hit compile cheat sheets. It'll run through and it'll reset the entire draft report tab. All right. Of course, it creates new cheat sheets as well. Which, as long as you haven't done any re-ranking of players, uh, that's not going to make a difference. All right, it's going to have, you know, it's going to compile cheat sheets anyways uh, based on, you know, the projected fantasy points and rank them accordingly. If you haven't changed any of those settings in those res in that respect, it'll all be the same rankings. Draft report tab now. Now we've got the formulas back. Okay, draft report tab is completely reset. All right, but uh, that is another way to to combat that problem. Now, if you have a custom a draft order, and you know, again, we're going to lose these formulas. Yeah, we don't even lose them right away here, okay? But this is what's going to happen as soon as I switch, you know, say, to another team that has the first pick, that formula then goes. All right, there's no way to save that. Um, it's just going to be the way it is. So, uh, but if you want to know a quick way to um, create a custom draft order, and you know, and kind of copy it for remaining rounds. A lot of times, what you can do is you can copy and paste. All right, so let me pick a different. Um, draft order here all the way down there we are with the six pick now I should have made this fewer teams who's missing who's missing um, Jerks is there. Uh, there's a team missing. And then we got one more team here in the 12th spot, which is right here. Okay. So now let's say that's my custom draft order for the first round, but it's also the same order for every other round. All right. Which is kind of a straight draft, but just for demonstration purposes here. What you can do is you can just highlight this, highlight these teams, hit Control C. Okay, to copy, and then go down the next round, and then select. I'm going to right-click here to show it. Uh, paste special as values. All right. So now I've got the same draft order here. All right. If I had to go back and forth, all right. Like say I have uh, this order here and a reverse order here, I would just select them again in reverse order, and then I could highlight both round at one time, hit control C, go down to the now third round, pay special as values. And there you go. And then that's the order for rounds three and four. Alright. So it's pretty easy to to change the draft and to you know not without selecting every single one. You know, if you have any kind of repetition at all, then you can use copy and paste. And then there's another way that if you run into problems with changing the names and the names don't match up anymore, so like your rosters tab, it's not showing the players for some reason because the names don't match up from what it's expecting, you know, then just adjust your draft order, okay? 
as if you had a custom draft order. All right, you could do that and just make sure the names match up exactly, and then you won't have any problems, you know, with Draft Buddy tracking the players to the appropriate team and marking them off the cheat sheets. Okay, so there's uh, there's some strategies for uh, getting rid of the uh, issue about changing the owners' names, you know, maybe uh, owner and team names, maybe after compiling and saving those draft picks where you've lost the formulas on the draft report tab. And the same thing would apply to the auction report tab as well. All right, I've got this warning here that says it is not recommended to change the owner or team names after compiling cheat sheets if reset draft order and picks was set to no, and uh, you know, you know how to fix that. That's this video right here. All right, so hopefully that's helpful, and uh, and enjoy using Draft Buddy for fantasy football.